Just a couple of days ago, we received some brand new information on Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, and we also got a brand new Ultra Beast named UB Adhesive, which is a poison type. Now, UB Adhesive looks a lot more like a Pokemon, sort of like a Celebi or a Mew um, kind of Pokemon, like a Jirachi kind of Pokemon, and it's kind of strange because it was confirmed to be an Ultra Beast rather than a Pokemon, and it's unfortunate because a lot of people see Ultra Beasts as different from Pokemon because they are, they are still in Pokeballs, but they are very different from normal Pokemon. There's still a mystery behind that, but UB Adhesive was confirmed to be an Ultra Beast rather than a Pokemon, and I don't know, maybe I'm the only one bothered by it, but honestly, I think it is a missed opportunity because in the future, are we going to look back and look through all the Pokemon and sort of categorize Ultra Beast separately, or are we going to look at everything just as one. It's something that you gotta keep in mind. I hope you guys kind of understood what I was trying to say, but things are gonna get even weirder because apparently Ultra Space is gonna be expanded and there's gonna be a thing called Ultra Megalopolis that is gonna let us explore beyond what Ultra Space provided or let us explore in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Now from what I saw from the trailer, it appears the Ultra Beasts are gonna have their own little sections or um, ultra spaces or designs based off of their designs or homes. I don't even know how to explain it But each ultra beast is basically gonna have a home from what I saw in the trailer. It's not confirmed yet We're not exactly sure how this is gonna work But it's exciting to know that we're gonna be able to explore beyond Ultra space because ultra space was a really cool part of Pokemon Sun and Moon to me It was the hypest part of the entire game when you went into ultra space and Rotom Dex was dead and it was also the climax of the story, but just being in a different dimension felt crazy. So now we're going to get to explore even beyond that and be in an expanded world based off of Ultra Space, which I think is insane. There's also no limit as to how big this thing can be. Obviously, there is a limit as to how big it can be, but based on the Alola map, you can't really see Ultra Space from the regional map that they gave us. So there's really no telling how big this expanded universe or world is going to be. Also, in this new area of the Ultra Space, there's going to be a brand new team called the Ultra Recon Squad. And the squad's team members are Duels, or Dulce, Zosi, Solteria, and Psycho. There's a guy named Psycho, and he looks like a Psycho. Now, from what I've been reading, Dulce and Zosi are in Ultra Sun, and Soleria and Psycho are in Ultra Moon. Not much is really known about these characters, but they do seem really mysterious. The design doesn't really give much away, and initially there was a connection to the Aether Foundation, but now it seems that they're their own thing. Honestly, with the introduction of Ultra Megalopolis, there is a lot more value to Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, especially because of the team and just the extra areas to explore. This is probably something that they were waiting until the very end to announce. Remember, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon is out next month, so this could be the big reveal that they were waiting to give us, and we don't even know everything about Ultra Megalopolis yet. There could be things in there that are even crazier than the area itself. But that's really all I have for this video, guys. Let me know your thoughts on UB Adhesive, the Ultra Recon Squad, and Ultra Megalopolis in the comments section down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time.